Hey everybody, welcome to a, a TGIF uh, version of uh, Key Spear Ruse. Um, today I'm going to do one I did before last March uh, when it was fresh and I just I thought I'd uh, and at the suggestion of one of my sub subscribers suggested I uh, age it for a while so this has been cellared for about nine months so um, it was a very very sweet beer I think I gave it a nine nine out of ten it was darn good uh, darn good fresh so um, I'm gonna see what it's see what it's like after about nine months of uh, nine months of aging. Uh, I'm gonna be doing the Shells Burton Ale. That's one of their it's their number four in their Stag series. I'm not sure what uh, we don't get too many of their beers down here, so I'm not sure uh, what the others were in the series. And I think there's a five. I think one of my subscribers mentioned uh, that there's a five, but this is apparently a style that. Uh, it's sort of gone out of style and was sort of revamped by these guys. Um, it says from the website, it says before India Pale Ales were synonymous with Burton upon Trent, there was Burton Ale, a darker, sweeter beer. Burton, Able, Burton Ales were so popular, in fact, that as recent as 1948, it was considered one of the four main types of British draft beer, sitting beside mild pale ale and stout. More so than perhaps any other beer style in history, the demise of Burton Ales happened amazingly fast. Brewers faced with the consumer preference for bitters and lagers saw sales of Burton and mild ales plummet. By the end of the 1960s, Burton Ales were virtually gone. Shell's Burton Ale is a nod to a forgotten style of beer. It has a soothing blend of bready malt and hot bitterness. Uh, like I said, it was 60 IBUs. Um, there weren't a lot of hops. Uh, when I initially tried it, when it was fresh, but uh, I'm sure they're they're mostly gone now. But I like I said, it was a very very sweet beer. So let me uh, get this. This comes in at eight percent ABV. So hopefully it aged well. Let's hope I don't have a nice little smoke out of the bottle there. Let's get it in the glass. The appearance hasn't changed much. It's a nice um, deep copper color. You can see some light through it. Um, some bubbles clinging to the clinging to the side of the glass. Got about a pinky of a foamy looking, uh, soapy looking, slightly off white head, sort of eggshell colored. Looks haven't changed much. So let's see what we got on the nose here. You're getting those sweet malts right out front. Uh, lots of malts in this, that's for sure. Some light toast, uh, fresh bread aromas. Don't really get any of those hops. There weren't much to be found anyway, but there's, there's a lot. It definitely smells like a sweet beer, so let me give it a taste. Yep, um, it's it's aged pretty well. Um, it's still sweet beer. There's a there's a slight bitterness there. I don't know if uh, maybe a little oxidation or whatever is in here, but a uh, little bit of a slightly off taste, but still still darn good um, sweet tasting beer. Um, almost like candy. Um, got your toasted malts. Um, Strong, strong starts out with those with the strong strong malts and toasted bread. Um, uh, and the sweetness really hits you in the middle. That hasn't changed much. I think that was pretty much the way it was before. Um, it did uh, before. It had like a slight bitterness on the finish, and uh, this is staying sweet now. It's still there's a slight slight bitterness in there. I think a toasted malt bitterness more than a hop bitterness. That I had before, but there's still a light, light bitterness there in the finish, but still a, a very, very sweet beer. It's um actually mellowed out a little bit. I don't think it's quite as sweet as it was, but still a very sweet beer. Um, darn good tasting beer yet. Um, I don't know that it's aged well. I think it may have been a little better fresh, but uh, let me sit, let this warm up a bit. And I'll come back uh, after a while with a final thoughts and grade. I'll tell you, this is a nearly perfect day here. It's um, going 
going on 60 degrees, sunny, no breeze, just a perfect day, end of November day to be outside. So um, you can't, you can't, you don't get any better than this in November, especially the, the last day of November. So gorgeous day. Cheers to the day. Cheers to uh, my subscribers, all of you. And uh, let me turn this off, sit and sip on this a while, and I'll come back. Okay, I'm back. It's been a good half hour, 45 minutes or so. Uh, a lady sitting up there with a really nice, cute little puppy. Just just a few months old, so I had to go play with that. And then I had some frisbee golfers come through. Just had a couple trains come through, so it's uh, taking a little longer than I thought. But uh, this uh, this beer, um, I, I actually don't think it's as good as when it was fresh, to be honest. Um, it's uh, it's sweet. It's still a sweet malty beer, but um, actually the maltiness has sort of dropped off a bit. The sweetness has dropped. This is still sweet, but the sweetness has dropped off some. Surprisingly enough, I figured it'd be a lot sweeter, but um, still a darn good beer. I don't think it's um, it's one that's really meant to age well. Um, they didn't mention anything about it on the bottle. I just figured. 8%, a good dark beer. Stick it in the cellar and see what happens. And uh, so aged uh, nine months, actually, actually, yeah, about nine months. Um, it's still a decent beer, good darn beer, but um, I don't think it's as good as when it was, uh, when it was fresh. So um, in this incarnation, I know it's not meant to be done like this, but you know, that's what I did. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I'm, it's still good. I'm gonna give it a, give it a good solid eight out of ten. It's still darn good beer. It's just not, like I said, not as good as the fresh version. So, um, the the shells, Burton Ale. I don't know if they're gonna make it again or not. I think it was just a one-off brew. So, um, uh. You probably won't be able to find it again, but it was worth a shot. It was an experiment, so 8 out of 10 uh, for the aged Shell's Burton Ale. Till next time, everybody, cheers. Let's keep drinking good beer.